Hey everyone, it's Lindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another shipping for eBay video. It's been a while since I've done a video like this and I know that you guys really appreciate it because when you're learning how to sell on eBay, shipping is actually one of the most difficult things to learn. And so in these videos, I not only talk about how I'm shipping the items that I've sold on eBay, but I'm actually demonstrating real items that I sold and how exactly I'm shipping them. It's also an excellent opportunity for me to talk about exact profits on the items that sold that you're watching me ship out. And so videos like these on my channel are just loaded with information. I can show you guys real items that sold and at what price points they sold at. I can let you guys know the real profits that I made on selling these items in my eBay store. And I can actually show you how I am shipping those items items so that they can arrive safely to my customers. And it also gives me the opportunity to talk about shipping supplies. This is another question that you guys have because there's a wide variety of products out there. And so I always like showing you exactly what I use because after years of shipping on eBay, I've been able to filter out the potentially unnecessary products from the necessary products. And so if you are in need of stocking up on shipping supplies, everything that I use in this video today, I will make sure to link down in the video description. Those are affiliate links. So if you purchase your shipping supplies using my affiliate links, it does benefit my YouTube channel. And so I greatly appreciate it. All right, let's head down to my basement so we can get to shipping some of those eBay sales. So the first items that we're shipping out today, it's the Brilliant Tone Up Egg Cream. So this buyer actually bought two of them from me for a total of $33.76. After shipping, cost of goods and materials, my total profit on that egg cream is $19.57. So I was able to ship out these two containers first class thanks to the Flex and Seal shipping roll. So if you've seen my other shipping videos, I mentioned this in probably every single one of them I have. So because I use the Scotch Flex and Seal shipping roll as opposed to a box, I was able to ship it for less than 16 ounces as opposed to having to go up into priority and spend more on a shipping label. So how the product works is you just cut it to fit really. It sticks to itself without any tape. The gray part sticks to the gray part. You just fold it over, pinch it closed, and your package is good to go, no tape necessary. I just make sure to squeeze all of the edges together. And then all I need to do is slap a label on there and it's good to go. I don't have to use one inch of tape. I love this product. It is always linked down in my video description because I am absolutely obsessed. I use it almost every single day. The next item we're shipping out is this scrunchy hair chalk. So it's just a little device that holds some colored chalk that you could just simply drag across your hair and change colors. It used to be really hip back in the day. It still exists, I guess. I ended up getting some in liquidation and I sold some. I am opting to use the Scotch Flex and Sale shipping roll on this item again, because if I were to put it in a box, it would push me up into the eight ounce shipping tier. But since I can keep it in the Scotch Flex and Sale shipping roll, I can ship it for only four ounces, which saves me some money since it is a free shipping item. So after shipping, fees, and cost of goods, my total profit on this item is $1.58. The next item is a set of two L'Oreal Infallible Pressed Powders. So both of these sold for $8.88 with free shipping. So after cost of goods, packing materials, and the shipping label, my total profit on this sale was $1.80. So to keep these pressed powders from breaking, I am shipping them in a small box, the six inch by four inch by three inch box to be exact. And I am wrapping them in a plastic bag. And then I am also wrapping all of that in packing paper so that there's extra padding in the box so that the item does not move during transit. Because movement is the enemy when we're talking about shipping items like this because the more an item can move the more likely it is to break and so the packaging paper will keep that from happening. 
Now my label is a little bit bigger than the box, so I just fold it down around the sides, tape around it to secure it, and it is good to go. So the next sale that we are shipping out today is this set of four Speed Stick Gear Clean Peak Deodorant. Able to sell four of them on best offer for $33 plus shipping. Now after cost of goods, the shipping label, and any supplies, my total profit on that sale was $20.47. And now I'm going to show you guys my awesome shipping trick for saving as much money as you can on priority packages. And it all starts with this 1096L mailing box. So these boxes are my favorite because they fit perfectly inside of a regular flat rate envelope. It is acceptable to do this. This is not a flat rate box. You can use priority shipping supplies however you deem necessary as long as you're paying for priority shipping service. So this 1096L box, you can order for free, USPS.com, have it delivered, and I will use these every single time I ship something in a flat rate envelope. So because deodorants can be messy, I always bag anything that can potentially leak, spill, break, and do you know some sort of a mess upon delivery if something goes wrong. So I am bagging all four of them in a bag together and I just tie it shut and then slip the whole thing into this box. Now there is still some room in this box and remember how I said movement is the enemy when you're shipping items like this. So I wanna fill all that dead space with some packaging paper because the less an item can move, the less likely it is to break. So then I just fold down the flaps, peel off the adhesive, close it up, and then I do make sure to tape it down just to make sure that it does not pop open. And this is the standard flat rate envelope. It is not a Tyvek envelope. The Tyvek envelopes are not flat rates. They are just by weight. So the cheapest flat rate envelope out there is just the simple cardboard one. And I'm telling you, these 1096L mailing boxes fit perfectly in there. I do make sure to put some tape on the seams of the cardboard just to prevent it from splitting. The boxes do fit in there perfectly, but Cardboard is cardboard. If it gets wet, if there's any sort of rain or ice or condensation, I know that those seams can pop open. So taping it down just gives it a little bit of extra protection from that happening. And you are able to do this. There is a common misconception that these flat rate envelopes are for documents only. It is absolutely not. I will make sure to link a video where I talk specifically about this and how to handle this with your postage clerk if you run into problems but doesn't that fit perfect? So then we're just gonna peel that off, fold it on over, and it just fits in there snug as a bug. And again, you know I love the tape, so we gotta tape it up just to make sure that it doesn't pop open. I want my package to arrive safe and sound to my buyer. I don't want it partially opened. I don't want them questioning whether or not items fell out. Perfect. So now I do have some more items to ship out with you, but real quick, I wanted to take just a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video. Wholesale Ninjas has been the primary supplier that I have used for almost all of the merchandise in my eBay store for over two years now. As a matter of fact, everything that you're watching me ship out in today's video, I actually sourced from Wholesale Ninjas. You could probably tell that health and beauty is by far my favorite category to sell in online. And in my opinion, Wholesale Ninjas is the best when it comes to liquidated beauty merchandise. And that's because with health and beauty, you run into things like expiration dates and a lot of damage. And in my experience, there are so many liquidation companies out there that don't really care. They just haphazardly throw items in boxes. They don't filter out expired merchandise. And Wholesale Ninjas is the only liquidation company that I have found for health and beauty that has 
amazing quality control, and they package their boxes so nicely that there is little to no damage when the merchandise arrives. I can essentially open up the boxes and start listing right away. There's not a load of stickers to remove. I don't have a bunch of open used merchandise that's not sellable. Needless to say, Wholesale Ninjas is hands down my favorite favorite place to source health and beauty merchandise. Because they are a partner of my YouTube channel and they are sponsoring today's video, I do also have a coupon code for them. The code is Lindy25 and it gets you $25 off of anything that they have on their website. I will make sure to link my coupon code as well as some of my favorite lots on their site down in the video description below. Thank you again to Wholesale Ninjas for partnering with me again and sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to shipping more merchandise. Next up is a lot of three packages of always discreet pads. So these were pretty large packages. So I did make sure to charge shipping to the buyer because the further they are away from me, the more expensive the shipping label is going to be. So I ended up taking a best offer of $40 plus shipping. And so after the shipping label cost, cost of goods and any supplies and fees, my total profit on that sale was $28.44. Now, to keep the shipping label as cheap as possible, I didn't want to put it in a box because that was going to push me into the next tier. So I ended up just opting into this oversized poly bag. I think this poly bag was 15 inches by 22 inches, if I'm remembering correctly. It is very large. Again, all of my shipping supplies will be linked down in the video description, but these three large packages of Always Pads just fit in there perfectly. Perfectly. Now, because there is a lot of excess material in the poly bag, you want to wrap it up kind of like a present. You don't want too much material floating around because as the package is getting processed through the postage system, you don't want it to get caught and rip open and risk having your merchandise spill out and then the buyer receives an empty bag. So I just like to fold in the corners and wrap it up so that all of the loose bag is contained. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to make sure that it's taped up good enough so that the items arrive safely. And now I know that I have sticky labels, but I also like to tape those on because when, with the material like the poly bag, sometimes those labels can lift in different temperatures. So I do use the eBay tape to make sure that it's secured to the package. The next item is this Gillette 3 razor with two cartridge heads. It sold on best offer for $7. I'm just gonna stick it in a standard bubble mailer because again, it was free shipping and it's an inexpensive item. So it did ship for four ounces after the cost of goods, the shipping material and the shipping cost. My total profit on this item was only 80 cents. So because my profit was not very high, I don't wanna bother putting it in a box because a box is definitely more expensive than a bubble mailer so this will definitely suffice like I mentioned before this kind of material sometimes has the labels lifting off of it in different weather conditions so I am taping the label down on this bubble mailer just to make sure it doesn't come flying off I get a lot of questions about the eBay tape I actually get it directly from eBay if you have an eBay store subscription every three months you get a shipping supply coupon that you can use to apply to eBay branded shipping supplies I have a video discussing all about that I'll make sure Sure to link it down in the video description so if you've been missing out on free ebay shipping supplies you could start taking advantage of that coupon asap This is some Reboost Decongestion Multi-Symptom Gentle Relief Nasal Spray. So this sold on Best Offer for $8 with free shipping. Again, this is something I'm just gonna drop in a bubble mailer because it was not an expensive item. It's already in a box and I need to make the, ch the shipping as cheap as possible. So after the shipping label, my shipping supplies and cost of goods, my total profit on this sale was $1.68.
This next buyer bought two lots of two of these goodies pain reliever. They paid $14.98 plus $9.25 for shipping all four boxes. After shipping, cost of goods and fees, my total profit was $8.40. And I will not be putting these in a box because they're way too big. And I just noticed that this Butterfinger was in frame. My son brought it down to me, isn't he sweet? Anyways, if there was only two boxes, I would be shipping it in this six by four by three inch box. But because there's four, they don't fit in there. And so this is a perfect opportunity for me to, again, use the Scotch Flex and Seal shipping roll. I was not kidding when I say I use this product just about every single day, because if you don't have a box that fits the item you need to ship, it's the Scotch Flex and Seal shipping roll to the rescue. I can literally cut it to fit and it doesn't weigh as much as a box, so it allows me to save on my shipping label payment as well. I just make sure to pinch all of the sides so that it's properly sealed in there. Again, I don't need to use any tape at all. All it needs now is the shipping label and it is good to go. So this customer purchased not one, but two of these melted chrome eyeshadows. They are the color 08, which is Golden Crown. They paid $11.18 plus $5.20 shipping for both of these. Now these are very, very delicate, so I do want to bag them up just in case they break. It doesn't make a huge mess. I know that I get a lot of questions about the bags. I just use the great value twist tie bags that you can find in the Ziploc area in Walmart. It's around three bucks for a hundred bags and they work perfectly in these circumstances. I am shipping these in a box just to make sure that I can add as much padding as possible to keep them protected because I mean, this buyer paid a lot for just, you know, two little things of eyeshadow. So I'm gonna wrap it up in one large piece of packaging paper to keep keep it from moving around inside the box, because remember, we don't want any movement. So I'm gonna stick the shipping label on there, fold them down, tape it down so that the label doesn't come off of there. And after shipping fees and cost of goods, my total profit on that sale was $9.53. So the next item we're shipping out are these adorable tie sequin slippers. I'm telling you, if they were my size, that would have been a hard one to not keep for myself. I thought that these were absolutely adorable and I have the perfect box to ship these in. Couldn't be more perfect. It's the eight inch by four inch by three inch box. This one is actually my favorite box of all of them because it feels like almost every beauty item I have can fit inside this box, including children's slippers. They fit in there like a glove, but they're not gloves, they're slippers. <laughs> I'm so funny. So my customer paid $11.29 plus $4.60 to ship it. After fees, cost of goods, and the shipping label, my total profit on that sale was $6.97. The next item we're shipping is a Shock Doctor Sport Teeth Guard. So the buyer paid $11.29. This was a free shipping item. So after the shipping label, cost of goods and fees, my total profit on this sale was $4.22. Again, this is an item that I am just dropping in a regular bubble mailer. It does not need a box. It is very lightweight, so I wanna make sure to keep the shipping label cost as cheap as possible since it is free shipping. If I were to put it in a box, I would actually push it into the next shipping tier. So to keep it at a four ounce label, we're just doing it easy peasy and keeping it in a bubble mailer. The next item is this Glossy Pops. 
Hey Cupcake Lip Balm and Lip Gloss Duo. So this buyer paid $19.13 for this lip gloss with free shipping. After all fees, cost of goods, and shipping label, my total profit on that sale was $11.12. Now, because this item is over $10, I don't wanna just put it in a poly bag. I do wanna put it in a box, and you see what I mean about these eight inch by four inch by three inch boxes. They fit most beauty items perfectly. just slides right in there. I do want to fill that dead space. I don't want the box to get crushed and the item to get damaged. So I'm just going to fill in the empty space with some packaging paper, tape it up, and we are good to go. The next sale is a set of two Shea Moisture Toner and Hydrating Facial Mist. So I've had these listed for a while, so I ended up taking a best offer of $14 with free shipping. After shipping fees and cost of goods, my total profit on that sale was $3.02. Now, since these are liquid, I do want to bag these individually and not together because if one does happen to leak, I don't want it to get all over the other bottle. I want it to be self-contained. And also because these are liquid, I do want to make sure to ship these in a box. And so again, I'm just going to use that eight inch by four inch by three inch box. I make sure to wrap the bottles in the packaging paper, not just to keep those bottles from moving around and breaking during transit, but also in the event that one of them does leak and it does break open, the packaging paper will hopefully end up absorbing a lot of the liquid and not make a huge mess during transit because the last thing I want is to get in trouble with the post office. Next up is a set of three Old Spice Swagger deodorant pod refills. The buyer paid $12.50 on best offer plus $5.95 for shipping. And after fees, cost of goods, and the shipping label, the total profit on the sale was $5.92. And these fit perfectly in the six inch by four inch by three inch box. So that's exactly what I'm going to ship them in. I do want to bag all of these up just in case there's some sort of melting. I don't want anything to leak. It is colder now, but just as a precaution, I always bag anything that could melt and leak because I can't control the circumstances after it leaves my hands. So I'm just gonna drop it there in the box. There really is not any dead space, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna tape it up, put the label on there, and send it on its way. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and videos like this, remember to hit the thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and ring the notification bell. That way you are notified whenever I post a new video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to check the video description because I always put a lot of useful information in there, including all of the shipping supplies that I use on a regular basis and my Wholesale Ninjas coupon code. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys with my next video. Bye-bye.